and welcome back to the channel. On this video, one more time, I got my friend Keith with us. How you doing, Keith? Pretty good. And Keith is riding the Rad Rover again, and I'm riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser right there. And this time we're heading from Cook Park to King City. King City. All right. So here we go. We have a hill coming up right off the bat here in just a minute, and we'll see how well we do on this hill. Yeah. And it's only a few minutes away here. All right, I'm going to crank mine up to pedal assist five when we get to that hill. Going by five, okay. I have it in three right now, but when we get up on close to that hill, I'm going to take a run at it. So I'm in pedal assist three, gear eight right now, but I'm going to change it to five once we get out here onto the road because we have a hill to climb here. And once we get over the speed bump, I'm gonna crank it up here. Okay, let's crank it up to five as we approach this hill. Here we go. Speed limit's 20. A pretty good hill right here and we're slowing down for sure I'm not doing any extra pedaling I'm just pedaling right along with it and we're down to 11 it got down as low as 11.1 miles per hour but it made it up the hill no problem now I can switch it back to PAS3. Up at this light straight ahead, we're going to be making a left turn. Those are always tricky to make, but I can get onto the road now, there's nobody coming. I think... Of all the danger spots on an electric bike, I think this is the one... That's the trickiest of all and can be the most dangerous, and that's making a left turn. Especially on a busy road, busy intersection. Uh, that can be tricky. It got down as low as 11.1 .1 miles an hour, okay. but I didn't have to pedal any crazy or anything. I just went right with it, and it was no problem. So I downshifted to about third gear. The watts were about 740, and yeah, I, I was definitely having to work on that. But it did it. So you were, you could feel it? Oh yeah. It See? was... I probably would have had to go all the way down to first or second gear if that hill was even longer. And my battery meter went all the way down to about three. There we go. So that definitely took a lot of power. You take the lead there. Okay.
Ó. Yeah, we'll just want to just go here and... What do you want to do? We can just go here. Okay. We can just go here and then turn on Pacific Highway or go straight at the light. Okay, and then make a right? Yeah. Okay, we'll go. I changed to uh 
PAS 5 yeah. from 3 there, so it took me a minute to get going there. But I was going to try to get that light, but I had a feeling by the time we got up to it. The Grizzly would have probably made it quick. Oh, yeah. Get through that light, but. That camera already turned off? Oh, yeah. Still showing. Okay, so we'll go up to that next street, then we'll make it right. So go straight, go along, keep going along here. Like through the stop sign, keep going straight. So like in front of the Pizza Hut? Or yeah, just keep following this road right okay. through. It'll go right past the arc. Okay. Yeah. Keep going straight there. And then we'll make a left. Yeah. Well, no, actually it'll be straight. A left and then a left. I can pass you if you want at that point. Okay. I'll be better. Sometimes these lights can be extremely long too. Especially this one. Yeah. Once the spike gets going, a few seconds, you know, to get going, it, it's really quick. Oh yeah. On the, great to get, though. yeah. Like you just want to use that the throttle to get you going, and once you get going, you're good. I think that that's probably what makes this bike better than that one there, as far as. Having that power, you know, take off. I'm still in five. I can cut it back to three now. I mean, I like that for getting through the intersections and stuff. That's a great city bike. Yeah, it's a good commuter bike, this one. If anybody wants one to ride, they don't have a real long ride. Say you got five miles to go to work or something. Right. It could be longer, but five miles would be a nice ride. And you get across the intersection. Super fast. Yep. That's not a problem at all. No. Like that bike is a little more sluggish, isn't it? Oh yeah. That looks like an event in right there. Yeah, we go straight. Okay. Nope, it's a Filoto. Dual motor. Oh, is that? Yep. I think it's the dual motor uh, H6. Is it H6? Or yeah. Actually, not bad. Uh, less than 2,000. For a dual motor bike? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still. It was anyway. Yeah, I did a video on that one. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. That looked pretty good, the black. Yeah, it did. Have big I think they're I think they're dual 750 watt motors. So that one's gonna have no problem getting up hills. <laughs> The dual motor sure helps for that. It did that pretty fast. Yep, it did. Yeah, right there left. And then just follow this one.
It sure is nice to ride on the roads that are less traveled. Yeah, you can just enjoy the ride. Yeah, you don't have to worry about all the traffic. What assist level are you at? I'm at three. I think your three is probably equal to two on this one, right? Yeah. There, I'm on two. Yeah, that's probably... This is real easy right here. Now, if Sierra was to get one of these, which she's contemplating or about to do, she, uh, I wonder if she'd want the... Uh, unlocking the uh, thr uh, throttle yeah she might because that way you just if you're going up a hill you have you know that extra little head start or something so what it does is allows the throttle to get to 28 instead of just 20 and then you have to pedal the rest you can do either one she's probably going to do what i've been doing today just use the throttle for takeoff and then use the pedaling yeah and probably in the same one Pedal is two or three. If you're around pedestrians and stuff, you'll probably even want one. Pedal is just one. Because it's just too fast. You can't even go 10 miles an hour hardly, right? Around people. Right. Or dogs, you know, you don't know who's going to dart out at you. So, um. That's one thing about the, the cadence sensor ones. If you have it in Pedal is five, it all of a sudden just gives all that. I know. Power. That's right. You just start pedaling and away you go. You're off to the races. Okay, so just keep going straight. Okay. Uh, camera just cut out. What's that? I think my camera just gave out, or yours did, one or the other. That's probably mine. only had like 20% Oh yeah, that's right. It would be yours because mine had more. <laughs> Here comes another bike. To them. I thought there was only two. I saw four. I think they were all regular bikes, so I didn't. No, I those are. Were those they are, electric? Oh, yeah. I couldn't. I didn't really look very much it's weird just about a year ago you would maybe see one maybe two e-bikes all day I'm yeah you know when i first got my that one there the rad um you hardly see nobody anything. had one. very yeah. few and then all of a sudden this last year yeah i think this year is going to be a big year you'll see a lot of them i'm seeing more every year
Man, we made it. So I hope, what's that? Rad Rover has, the gearing on this thing is perfect. You need a low gear, it's low enough. I kind of wish it had, the higher gear was a little bit higher because you do ghost pedal pretty easy. Yeah, it should have eight, right? Yeah, yeah. eight would be perfect. Eight uh, makes a difference. Uh, that's the extra gear on this uh, yeah. bike here, the Cafe Cruiser. And that's what's going to get you up to 30 plus miles an hour. So thank you, Keith, for... Uh, joining me on this ride as we went from Cook Park to King City. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I made way for the traffic, but they all departed except for one's coming through. So once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Keith, on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. Get out for a ride. <laughs>